Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming on this nice, wonderful Sunday morning. Um, so you'll need your blocks and your strap today, uh, but we're gonna start, so have your strap handy, and we're gonna start down uh, on the floor on our backs. So come on down, everybody. Oh. And just kind of get yourself settled into your mat. Uh, maybe you keep the knees bent and your feet on the floor and start to just feel where your pelvis is in space, how your back body feels. Uh, drawing the shoulders very gently down to the floor. Maybe your hands are either on the sides or resting on your low belly. And notice where the back of the head is. Try not to overlift the chin. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. And start to tap into your breath. Maybe you notice where your hips are in space, right? Or is one high compared to the other? Do your feet feel like they're pretty evenly uh, spaced apart? Just kind of check out where your body is on your yoga mat. And then start to take in the breath a little bit more. Start to exhale it a little bit more. Couple more here. Just notice how as you settle into your mat, as you start to focus on the breath, your whole body just starts to calm down, starts to relax. And then take the arms overhead, straighten the legs. If your legs were bent, give yourself a big, long stretch. And exhale, and let it all go. And then inhale, stretch, maybe start to contract the muscles in your glutes, in your back body, in the legs. And exhale, let that go, shake it out. One more time, big deep breath, inhale, squeeze through the back body. And exhale and let that go. Oh, and then bend your knees again, grab your strap. Let's get these legs warmed up. Take the strap around the left leg, that left leg straight up from, uh, straight up toward the ceiling, the knee bent if you need to, and especially the right leg, the right knee bent if your hamstrings are really tight this morning. If not, go ahead and straighten the right leg, bring it down to the floor, but keep it, Keep it energized, maybe a flex of the foot, maybe an engagement in that back glute, right? And just feel the left leg as it starts to stretch. And as you exhale, I want you to lower the leg toward the floor. And as you inhale, bring it back up. And you can use the hands to help you as the strap slides down the hands and then back up again. Good, just a couple more. Just some nice slow movement here. And last one, lowering that leg toward the floor and taking it back up again. And then hold that leg up and take it across the body, but only a little bit, maybe line it up with your right shoulder. I don't know why my glasses are being really fussy this morning just across a little bit to feel that stretch of the outer left hip. Find your breath, breathe, take it up and just take it out to the, uh, out to the left side a little bit and feel just a soft stretch of the inner thigh. Nothing really big here. Keep the right leg energized. And then bring it to center, bend your knee, switch legs. 
Take the right leg up, straighten or bend the left leg and feel it on this side. Always my right side tighter than my left. I can feel a real difference as I start to stretch through the right hamstring. Got to give it a little bit more space. Um, see if you can ground the left leg toward the floor. And then when you're ready, just slowly lower the right leg toward the floor and bring it back up. Remember to breathe, exhale, and inhale. Good, couple more here, down, and bring it up. Two more, just slow stretches. This is dynamic movement, obviously, as opposed to static movement, if we were just holding that leg up. Good, once you've done that last one, take the leg just slightly across uh, toward the left so that it lines up roughly with the left shoulder. These are always very interesting, sensational stretches, right? You can feel that sensation on the outer hip, often down into the leg and the calf muscle and bring it up and bring it across, but don't take it out all the way. Try to keep the left side grounded as you stretch that right side. And I know for some of you, by not taking it all the way out, you're not feeling a big old stretch here, but that's okay. Just hang in there with me and bring it up to center, bend your knee, release the strap, take it back on the left side. So your leg is, uh, your strap is back around your left foot. If it's comfortable, straight in the right leg. And then take both sides of the strap, one on each, one in each hand. Take those hands overhead and let the arms stretch overhead. So you're getting a deeper stretch, obviously a deeper stretch with the left hamstring. We're stretching through the upper body as well. Finding the breath, draw the back shoulder blades toward the floor. Engage the belly. Lengthen the right leg if it is straight. This is a lot of hamstring stretch. So if you are more comfortable with that right leg bent, please go ahead and do that. Breathe. If this feels marvelous here, stay here. If it's almost too much of a stress, a stretch, either stay or back off. If you've got a little bit more, you can walk your hands up your strap so the strap isn't quite as long and then let the arms go back overhead. Ooh, deeper stretch, everybody. Breathe. Good, one more nice deep breath right here. and then slowly lower that leg all the way down to the floor. Switch feet, put your right foot in there. Take the right leg up, hold on to the strap. When you're ready, take those arms overhead. So the first time I do this stretch, especially first time in class, I like to keep my hands really close to the floor, the strap long, because it's already a good enough stretch, right? It's already um, has enough of an edge that I know I'm stretching, but not so much that I feel like I'm overdoing it, especially when we're not super warm. And I just give my body permis permission to relax in the stretch. That's the big thing. If you're real tense, your body is going to re uh, react to that. Uh, those signs right those reactions so breathe if you feel good the leg is opening up walk the hands up the strap a little bit more so that the arms are more hanging kind of in space the leg getting more of a stretch holy moly big deep breath everybody good one more big breath and exhale, let that leg come all the way down to the floor. Hallelujah. Release your strap, set that strap aside. Bend both knees, bring both knees to 90 degrees. Press your shoulders down to the floor. Your hands can grab hold of either side of your yoga mat so that you can press the shoulders down. Squeeze the belly, but keep a little bit of space behind your lower back. And then push one leg just straight out toward the front edge of your mat 
and switch. So we were playing with this last week, if you were with me. And what's interesting is, again, we usually do this bringing the upper body in as well. But if we can slow it down, press through the core, really press strongly, we can work the belly without bringing the head and the neck into this equation. So everybody breathe, try not to over arch. If your lower back is arching a lot, take the hands under your sacrum. If you want a little bit more challenge, the head stays down, but the arms are, or the hands are behind the head, right? So that we have to work that upper back even more to keep it down on the floor. Good, I hope you're still with me. Breathe, should be feeling that belly. Good, and then one, uh, when one leg is straight, just stop. Try to keep the other leg more at 90 without that knee coming in toward chest. Squeeze the heck out of your belly toward the floor and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, switch, go slow. The temptation to bring that knee toward chest is a big one. So try to resist. Squeeze in five, four, Three, two, one, both knees to chest. Good job, everybody. Turn the head side to side. And then again, hands under sacrum or your hands holding on to the edges of your mat. Both legs go up to the ceiling. I want you to press strong through your lower belly, lower the right leg about, I don't know, roughly a two o'clock or a 45 degree angle, just lower it a little bit and see how it feels. Once again, what we're watching for is that we don't want the lower back to super arch. If your back wants to arch a lot, take the hands under the sacrum and breathe and then just switch. So you're doing the super slow scissor here and breathe really slow. That's it and switch. Maybe the legs go wider, but it's not a swinging thing. I don't want you to use momentum. So if you're taking the legs lower or and lower, right, um, pause a second so that the legs don't use momentum and you move into your lower back. Good. Let's do four more. Four, three, yep, two, and one, good, both legs up to the ceiling, point and flex your feet, Woo, and circle your ankles, everybody. And then take both hands underneath your sacrum. Once again, watch the backs, you can always bend your knees, squeeze in through your lower belly, lower those legs until they almost touch the floor, squeeze both knees in, take them up to the ceiling, four more. Lower down, squeeze them in and up, lower, lower, squeeze them in, bring them up to more, and up, don't forget to breathe, last one, and up, listen up, you're going to push your legs straight out, you're going to lift them up to the ceiling, bend the knees, so we just reverse this. Out, squeeze them up, bring the knees in, reach them out. We got three left, up. This is two. This is one, breathe. And reach up, bring your knees to your chest, roll out your ankles and stretch it out. Good, and then roll over to one side, come on up to a seat. Uh, starting to warm up. You should feel some nice warmness in that belly after that little bit of core work. <clears throat> Just taking my socks off. Good. So find a nice seat and then come into Janus or Sasana or single leg forward fold. Um, I have my left leg out. If I'm mirroring for you guys, uh, then you would take your right leg out, grab your strap, take it around your foot. Pull that, uh, pull the shoulders back and just notice. So um, 
I always look at my foot and I tend to bring my big toe in. And so the first thing I do is press my big toe out, right? If we were standing, we would want to do that from a grounding standpoint. So I'm just pressing the strap into my big toe mound and vice versa, pulling the shoulders back, lengthening up, find your breath. That's it. And just kind of notice, right? As you hold the strap, maybe you move the head, the neck a little bit, draw the shoulder blades down, maybe circle or lift one shoulder and then the other, right? Where can you move in the upper body as you're stretching through this lovely hamstring? I didn't cue this, but you know, right? If this, uh, for you, left knee is really sitting up high. Just take a block underneath the knee to help support that. And then hold the strap with your left hand and just lift it off the floor. Right? Just lift it up and lower it down. And lift up. Your other hand can be resting on your knee or your leg. It can be behind you for support. And down two more. Just lift it up. Set it down, last one, lift it up. See if you can hold, see if you can take the strap out. Here's where it gets really tricky, right? Hands may be the hip, you're gonna lower and lift, no strap. And two, I know, right? That changed the whole thing, three. And four, one more, one more, one more, five. Woo, lower it down, shake out that thigh muscle. Oh. <laughs> Good. Release your bent knee. Circle out those ankles and switch sides. Again, one side gonna be different than the other. You just love your body and let it be, right? Take the strap around your left foot. Lift up through your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath. Spring is here, right? We celebrate that, opening up the shoulders and just feeling that, just feeling that nice sensation as we work with the hips, as we work with that uh, bent knee, again, putting a block under if necessary. And then here we go, five times, lift up and down. You can hold one hand, two hands with your strap, two and three. Try not to over lean back. You'll lean back some, but four and five hold take the strap out here we go for five this is harder one whew, two i know three four and five Woo, that side was harder for me release both of those legs shake out both ankles and then grab both of your blocks. <clears throat> You're gonna take the legs wide. You're gonna take one block on either side, on the insides of either foot, and then lift up tall again. Now, these blocks can be down low or second. Okay, we'll start there. You're gonna lean back, but you know, right? You don't sag back, you just lean back. I'm reaching back on my hands keeping the chest open, keeping the shoulders open. We're gonna start with that right leg. So lift up and over and back and two and back, three, four and five and release. Good, here we go, other side, wasted no time at all, right? Here we go, one, and two, and three, four, yep, and five, and release, good, shake it out. Good, you're gonna lean back, you're gonna take one over, other one over, out, out, and in, and out, I know, hang in there, in, out, Two sets, in, out, last one, 
and out. Oh, goodness gracious. And then take those blocks in front of you. It may have to be out a little bit. Start to shimmy those legs into center so that there's one foot on either side. Lean back, lift your chest, just tap and down. Tap, two, three, four, five. Switch sides, tap, one, two, three, four, whoo, five, chill, one, you're here, two, you're low, three, you're high. This is our last set of five, each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, oh, three, work in the quads, four, and five. Good. Bend your knees, everybody. Set your blocks over to the front edge of your mat. That's enough of that. You're, you don't need your strap at the moment. And let's come to table pose. <clears throat> if you can, and, and many of you cannot, but if you can, just go ahead and sit back uh, with your toes flipped uh, under just to stretch out the backs of the feet. If you can't, don't worry about it. You can also do this on in table pose. So if you're if that's too much pressure for your feet, you can come to table pose and just flip the toes under and stretch them and then take them flat and do that same stretch. So we start here sitting on the heels, just stretching out, make sure your pinky toes are involved and then release it, sit down on the feet, <sighs> maybe lean back, stretch. Please be gentle here. It doesn't take much to stretch the fronts of the ankles and then switch again. Remember a table pose, you're just here and then here, okay? And then flatten the feet, sit back, <sighs> stretch the front ankles and release and come to table pose. Little bit of cat and cow here. Um, reduce or resist the urge to overstretch in cat that upper back. Just resist that a little bit. Not saying it's right or wrong. Just don't go quite so deep there. <sighs> think more belly, think more hips, pelvis. That's it. Last one. <sighs> And a nice neutral spine. Take your left hand a little closer to the center of your mat. And all I want you to do is circle your right arm. So bring it back up and down. Good, a few more. Last one. You're gonna switch directions. So take it up, stretch through the chest and shoulders, everybody. Big stretches, three, big circle four, and five. Listen up. You're going to just slide it under, but you're not coming down and take it up to the ceiling. So different kind of stretch. Take it up, big stretch through chest, shoulders, and three. Yep. One, two more. Four, and five. Oh, that feels good. I'm just going to turn around so I have room. Same thing, other side, right hand just moves in a little bit. It's really not centered. It's just a little to help line up those shoulders and let's circle the left arm. Oh, you can go slow here. You can see, you know, what muscles are hanging up and what muscles feel good. One more big circle this way and then switch directions. As we open up the chest, and four, and five, and then just slide it under and open it up to the side. Let the head neck follow, right? So that everything stays in line. Four, one more right here, and five. Oh, good squeeze. Take your hands wide on your yoga mat. Flip your toes under, squeeze your belly in. Let's come to downward facing dog and pedal out the feet. Just stretch everybody. 
morning is morning, right? Whether it's chilly out or humid out, we get these bodies moving. Some of you have already been out for your walk or your bike. And then take your feet nice and wide on your yoga mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Open up the shoulders, bend your knees. Just take one elbow to each knee. So you're just in a, a little squat here, like you're contemplating something. And you're going to feel this pressing of the elbows into the legs and that resistance with the legs. And then just lift one heel and the other. Lift, just switch, doing a little bit of calf work, right? So lifting one, what we're doing with the elbows on the knees is we're adding some weight to this exercise. <sighs> That's it, keep going. Five, four, whoo, feel the calves. Three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. Hands to knees, come all the way up to standing and shake everything out. And then come into a nice, easy mountain pose. Take your hands to your hips. You might wanna be near a wall. Um, I just want you to play with this idea of turning the toes out, turn the heel in, bend the knee. Just that simple. Drop the heel, turn the toes back in. Other side, turn the toes out, lift the heel. You see where that knee goes down, forward. One more, both sides. Turn it out, lift, down. Forward, turn the toes out, lift, down, and forward. Good. Go back to that first side, turn the toes out, lift the knee, squeeze the belly. Don't lean toward that, that right knee. I'm mirroring here. Just lift the knee and see if you can get the foot off the floor. <sighs> Breathe. What are you doing with your standing leg, right? Everybody knows by now. And then put the toes down, drop the heel, turn the toes back. Other side, toes, toes, toes go out, heel lifts, squeeze, and just lift the foot and breathe. Drop the foot, drop the heel, turn the toes. Go to the other side, turn, lift the heel, squeeze the belly. Like right away, I have to readjust because as soon as I turn the toes out, that hip goes with it, right? I lift the heel, that's all okay. Now bring the hips back to forward, lift the knee. Will it lift higher for you? Doesn't have to. Can just be an inch off the floor, squeeze the standing leg, drop the foot, drop the heel, turn the toes in. Other side, turn the toes out, lift the heel, square the hips, lift the leg, find your balance, squeeze your glutes. Will it go higher? Maybe, maybe not. Drop the foot, heel, toes come in. Good. And then step wide with your stance. Turn the toes out, bend the knees. Take a look at those legs. You know, right? Everybody who's watching right now, you know how deep to go or not go for your body. Squeeze the belly in. <clears throat> Tone the belly. Lengthen the tailbone so we're not really sitting in our low backs at all. Here, hands to hips, lift one heel, and then the other, lift and lift. So you're just working with the calf muscles again. Be gentle. Yep. Lift, lift, lift. Hang in there. We're, we're getting there. Lift. Three sets left. One, Ooh. and then sit in your pose, lengthen your tailbone, keep the chest open. And I want you to just think about how these legs are, how the knees are, and that your hips can be forward center. Obviously I'm playing with this idea for tree pose, right? So as the hips stay center, the knees are out to the side. You can notice that your knees are not out to the side, they are angled to your hips, okay? So that's where I want you to play. Some of you are gonna be able to sit, <sighs> sit deep in your squat. Been working with squats a bit myself. So um, I've been working with going in deeper, keeping those knees out and then straighten the legs, everybody. Whew. 
Good, turn the foot, feet forward, walk them in, but not hips width, a little bit wider. Imagine somebody's pushing those knees out to the sides. Sit your butt back like you're sitting in a chair. Watch your knees. <sighs> press them out, press the feet out isometrically. Big deep breath. <sighs> turn the toes out, stand up. <sighs> turn the toes in. Squat, <sighs> out, in, squeeze. We're only doing three more. Toes in, down you go. Open them out, take them up. No knee pain here, toes forward. Squeeze the knees out, turn the toes out, stand up. Last one, I think. Down you go, <sighs> open and stand up. Whew. Good job, everybody, shake it out. And come on back to the front of your mat. Oh, nice mountain pose. Nice mountain pose. Here we go, take it up. Exhale down to the floor. Soften the knee, step back right leg. Lower your right knee to the floor. Feel free to grab your blocks here. Open up that back hip, back front leg. Find your breath, keep the chest lifted and breathe, flip your toes under, just lift the knee, squeeze the glute. Keep your right hand on your block or the floor, take the left arm up toward the ceiling. Nice little twist. Keep both knees pointing forward. Breathe, circle it all the way back and down. Hands come to your blocks, lower your knee, just slide your left leg back to come into half plank. <clears throat> From half plank, elbows stay in. Don't go all the way to the floor. Let's see if you can press down and press up. Mm -hmm. Good. Step forward with your right foot. Find your breath. Little stretch on that left side. Flip your toes under. Lift your knee. Left hand stays on your block. Right arm goes up. Nice, easy twist. Squeeze the glutes, engage the legs. You got it, everybody. Circle it back down. Lower your knee. Step that knee back. Notice I don't have my butt poking out to the back. Squeeze the elbows in. Come on down, little baby chaturanga. Push back up. Flip toes under, lift the knees, hold. Plank pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, right leg. Step forward, left leg. Piece of cake, bend the knees, lift up. Exhale, hands to heart. Open up your shoulders. Release those hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step back, left leg. Find your breath. Lower that knee to the floor. Release your toes. Inhale, reach up. Stretching out just a little bit more. From here, I want you to take those hands down. Palms press back. Squeeze through the shoulder blades. Lift the chest. Lift, lift, lift. Breathe. Release your hands to your blocks. Lift your left knee off the floor. Take the right arm up, stretch. Shoulder to shoulder, like one sweet line, straight up and down. Find your breath, everybody. Release that hand to the block. Lower your knee, slide the, the other knee back. Here we are again, little half plank. Take the chest down, push up. Don't go lower than the blocks. Lift the knees, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, left leg. <clears throat> Lower your knee to the floor. Inhale, reach up. Find your breath, palms face together. <sighs> Breathe, press through that front big toe. Try to stay nice and equal on that ankle. Release, hands come to the floor, left arm goes up. 
breathe. Release that hand to the block. Slide your left knee back. I know you're just loving this. Come on down, slide down, push up. Hands or knees off, not hands off, knees off. Breathe, squeeze everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. Step forward, left leg. Step forward, right leg. Oh. Bend the knees, inhale it up. Exhale to heart. And shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Grab your strap. I know it's here somewhere. Oh. Now the legs are nice and warmed up. Core's warmed up. Take that strap behind your back. Palms are face out. Roll the shoulder blades back and lift your chest and then just press back. Okay, so all you're doing is pressing back. So notice this tendency, right? As the arms go higher, the chest shoulders want to come forward. So don't do that. Keep the hands to a point where the chest doesn't collapse and then slide the neck back or the chin back so that you're looking straight forward and not up. And then from that point, I want you to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Good. You're going to take one end of that strap up, one end down, little cow face arms. You can hold your strap or you can hold your fingers. Whichever one works best for you. And then just kind of sway a little side to side. Easy, easy. So you're kind of stretching side body. You're letting this be really nice and organic. Don't overdo it. One more little sway up and down. Good. And then if you've got your strap, you're just going to reverse. Take the other arm up, the other arm back. Once again, maybe you're holding fingers. Maybe you're holding strap. Feel the stretch on this side and then same thing. You just sway and side to side. Whew. Easy, easy. Couple more. Stretching out the shoulders, the deltoids. All kinds of stuff going on there. And come back to center, grab your strap, take the arms behind you. This time I want you to take the hands wider and press straight back. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. It's, you know, again, depending on how you're built, what we don't want is this rounded thing happening. We want those shoulders to kind of lift up, back and down like we do all the time. And release it, everybody. Shake it out. Set your block or your strap aside. You're back to the front of your mat. It's so funny on this rug, my mat just wants to travel. It just wants to travel. All right, inhale, reach up. Exhale all the way down to the floor. Soften the knees. Step back with your right leg. You decide here whether that right leg should be up or down. It's up to you. Squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, take the arms up. Find your breath. So when you're here, two, the right hand goes to the left knee and you just look up. Or three, you're bringing the elbow to the knee instead. You decide where you want to go for this twist. Find your breath. Take it center. Both hands press back. Press, press, press. So we are trying to strengthen the muscles of the upper back, right? Part of that is squeezing the shoulder blades together, but it's less that. I can squeeze them together, but what I really want is this press back um, against that imaginary wall. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Breathe. It's a plank pose. Good planks, everybody. Don't let those hips sink. 
lower the knees. Let's do a real chaturanga, nice and slow to the floor. Release to a low cobra, super low. Breathe. Flip your toes under, press up to plank. From plank to down dog. It's springtime. Look forward, step forward, right leg. Knee up or knee down, everybody. When you're ready, arms up. And breathe. <clears throat> I switched from tea to coffee. <clears throat> Maybe that's why. I feel like I got a lot of nice energy today. So either it's hand to knee, and you're just looking up, or it's hands to heart and elbow to knee. Push strongly through your back leg, everyone. Keep that nice and centered. Big deep breath. Release your twist. Take the arms up. Exhale them down. Step back, down dog. Last one, I promise. Spread the fingers. Open up your shoulders. Plank pose. Breathe. Hold on. Hold on. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees up, knees down. Take it down. Release, low cobra. Take your hands off the floor and breathe. Back body work. Slide the hands back. Palms are face up. Press the palms up to a ceiling. Breathe. Don't lift your chin. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Just collapse on the floor. Ah, oh, shake. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Shake it out, everybody. Oh, find your breath. It's just, you know, it's always interesting. And again, because we don't have eyes on the back of our head, we don't see our back body. So there's a tendency to kind of forget about the back body. We don't want to do that, right? All right. So you're going to lay, I may have to keep my head up some, I'm going to see, but you're going to lay with your forehead on the floor. Take your right hand back. Your left hand can make a little pillow for your head. And so it's right leg, right hand. You're gonna lift both in unison, lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift, yep. Lower two more, lift and lower, lift and hold. Open up that right shoulder. You're gonna circle this right arm. You're gonna just bring it out to the side, turn the palm down. Circle it forward, turn the palm in. Bring it back out to the side, palm down. Bring it back behind, your, back alongside your hip, palm up. The whole time this right leg is lifted, by the way. Here we go, let's do that again. Take the arm out to the side, turn the palm down. Take it forward, turn the palm in. Out to the side, down. Back, the palm is up. One more right here. Out, forward. How's that leg? Side, and back, and lower down. Woo, yeah, 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 yeah. Good, breathe everybody. I'm gonna turn around because I'm too close to the wall. So I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanna do. All right. Same thing, other side. Your hand is resting on your right hand. Your head is resting on your right hand. Your left side is palm down. When you're ready, lift the left leg and the left arm. Now that left leg is relatively straight. That left glute is doing some work. Here we go. Out to the side, turn the palm down. Reach it forward, palm is face in. Out to the side, and then back, palm up. Two more. Out to the side, keep that left leg lifted. 
forward, out to the side, and back. More. Out to the side. Arm gets heavy, doesn't it? Forward, out to the side, and back. Hold and release. Ooh, bend your knees. Windshield wiper the legs. <clears throat> Lower the legs, everybody. One hand stacked on top of the other. Your forehead resting on that hand, uh, on those hands. The tailbone long, the pelvis planted, the pubic bone planted, the feet on the floor. Both elbows out to the side. Glue your head to your hands and lift the hands. Hold. Really squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. No problem, no problem. This time we're gonna change it just a little bit. Press down through the pubic bone, lift your head, your hands, keep the head there, um, and draw the elbows to your side body. Bring it back to your head, hold, bring the elbows to side. Bring it back to your head, side, two more, head, down, last one, down and lower. Maybe turn your head one direction. <sighs> turn your head the other direction. Bring your head back to neutral. The top hand, whichever hand is on top, that's the one you're going to use to lift your head. So bottom hand stays down, lift, and maybe look to the side. So I'm like, it almost feels like, oh, lots, you know, like those old movies and down four more on this side, first lift, and then maybe raise the elbow and down, lift and look and down, lift and look, squeeze the back down, last one, lift and look and down Ooh, shake it out switch hands everybody you don't have to lift very high you don't have to look very much right just pay attention press down through that bottom hand glue the top hand to your forehead lift and look and take it down and lift and look and take it down Lift and look. I think I did both those at the same time. And down, lift, look, and down. Almost done. Lift and look and down. Good job, everyone. Shake it out. And then the last one here, the arms go out at cactus. I just put the uh, my blanket under my forehead just mostly so I can talk. Um, but if you need to cushion your head, please do. So the elbows are right out from your shoulders. Your palms are face down. I just want you to lift both arms, squeeze between the shoulder blades, keep your head and neck comfortable and down. Let's do it a little bit quicker, just five of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five and release. Come up to your elbows. Sphinx pose. So a lot of what we do can make these traps, right? These trapeze, upper trapezius muscles tight. Um, be mindful of your neck. I just want you to drop your chin. <sighs> Nothing else to do. Just drop your chin and then look up like you're looking up at something halfway up your wall. And drop the chin and lift. Good, just two more. Drop, tuck and lift. Last one. And lift, good. And then roll over to one side. Bend your knees, press yourself up. Make your way to table pose. From table pose to downward facing dog. Oh, 
Stretch everything out. Let the head, the neck be nice and heavy here. Stretch it out. And then in down dog, and you can bend the knees here if need be. In down dog, I want you to push your hands away from you like you're pushing your mat away. And then draw it back in. And then push it away and pull it back. So your upper body's kind of just rocking a little bit forward and back. Not a lot. Push the hands away isometrically and back. One more. Push and release. Feet wide on your mat. Walk the hands all the way back. And then come on up and roll it out. I know it's tough, right? It's tough. Find your breath, grab your staff. A good idea. John's getting some water. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Woo. There we go. So I want you to hang on to your strap and put it around your left or your right foot if I'm mirroring here. And you're just gonna, it's a there, right? Your other foot relatively straight, stand tall on both, roll the shoulders back. The strap is in the same side hand as your foot, your other hand is to your hip. I want you to lift the leg and lower it and lift. And lower. Good. Lift. Lower. We were doing this when we were seated, right? And lower. Last one. Lift and hold. Just hold. Tone the belly in. Fire up that leg that is up in the air. Fire it up. See if you can just let go of the strap. I tried to get it off my foot and I could. Breathe. Hold, hold, hold. And lower. Good. Switch sides. Step on your other strap. Hold on to it with that same side. Make sure your standing leg is active. Okay. When you're ready, open up the shoulders, lift the leg and lower and lift lower. Three strong standing leg. Four. Five, hold, let go of the strap. Hold, hold, hold. And lower. Woo. Good. Shake it out, everybody. Go back to the other foot. Wrap that strap around. Open up your shoulders. Good. Turn the toes out. Lift the heel. You'll see that knee bends. The strap goes to the inside of the knee. You're going to simply, simply, right? Lift, lift, lift to your level. Find your balance. Here's tree pose, right? You can hold on to that strap, squeeze that standing leg in. Take the other arm up. Breathe. That's it. Release the touch of the leg. The, you know, the foot to the leg, if that did make sense, release the strap, hold, stand strong, foot down, heel down, toes in, switch sides, take the strap around your other foot, so balance work, putting all this kind of stuff together, turn the toes out, lift the heel, square the hip, I didn't say that on the other side. And then you're just gonna lift that leg until your hand is closer to your foot. Press the foot into the leg, squeeze the leg back into the foot, take the other arm up. Find your breath. Take the foot out, let go of the strap. Set the foot down, drop the heel, turn the toe in. Remove your strap from the area. <laughs> Remove it from the area. You no longer have a strap. Hands come to your hips. Turn the toes out. 
lift the heel, square the hip. When you're ready, lift that knee as high as it'll go for you. Once you're there, if you can, grab what you can. Place the foot on the thigh. Squeeze that leg in. Your hands come to heart. Your belly tones. Maybe the hands go up and out. Find your woo tree pose. Breathe. Hands come to heart. Take the foot off the leg. Woo, that's the hard part. Step the toe down, drop the heel, turn the toes in. Shake it out, everybody. <sighs> Open up your shoulders. Other side. Here we go. Turn the toes out. Lift the heel, square the hips back to the front. Lift the leg as high as it'll go for you. Bring the foot in where it belongs for you. You know you can be near a wall, finger to the wall. Squeeze the standing leg in. Take the arms up. You can still hang on, by the way, to one, to that foot, if that makes sense for you, if the arm and the foot reach. Breathe, smile. Bring your hands to your heart. Release the foot. Drop it down, drop the heel, take the toes in, shake it out, everybody. All right, we are almost done. Almost done with this. So you're gonna come back to the front of your mat. <laughs> and you're gonna leave your left foot forward, right foot back into a warrior one stance. So back toes pointing more forward, right? Obviously, your feet roughly hips width apart. Your front knee bends. Your back toes point more forward than sideways, if you can. You can even be on ball mound if that's better for your ankles. But if you can drop that heel, um, go ahead. And another option we can do at another time is a blanket under that heel. Maybe that'll be next class. So you're here in Warrior One. The hips are squared, your front knee straight over the middle of the front foot, right? The torso is up, take the arms up. <sighs> nice little warrior pose here. <sighs> Find your breath, squeeze your back glute. Easy peasy, right? Nothing else really happening. Here's where it gonna, it's gonna get tricky. You're gonna go from this to tree pose by stepping forward. So we're taking a static movement making it a dynamic movement. So take your hands to your heart. You're gonna push off, take the leg wherever it'll go. Tree pose, squeeze and hold. Take the arms up if you can. Find your breath. Hands to heart, release, step back. Take the arms up, warrior one to tree. We're gonna do that one more time. The first one is always the learning curve. All right, hands to heart, push off, lift, woo, lift off. <laughs> Thank you all. Squeeze, hold everybody. Release the leg, hands to heart, step back. Good, and then just simply turn and turn. You may have to adjust short and make sure your back foot's pointed mostly to the front. Other side, arms up, warrior one. Hands to heart, push off, bring the leg up. Who does not have to be your, your full on tree pose, right? As long as that, Heel isn't pressing into the knee, I'm good. Take the arms up. <sighs> Hands back to heart, knee forward, step back and breathe. Take the arms up, warrior one, ha. Oh, breathe. Hands to heart, last one, push off. Find a tree that works, relatively speaking. Belly is toned, standing legs strong, arms come out. Big deep breath. <sighs> Hands come back to heart, release. 
step back, warrior one. Good job, everybody. Just release those hands, turn everything wide. Shake out the hips. <sighs> nice hinge of the hips, come on down. Nice deep hinge, just a forward fold. Your feet are in the direction that makes sense for your knees and your hips. And breathe. Let the back of the neck be heavy. The crown of your head is pointing straight down to the floor unless you are in L shape, okay? If you're being mindful of your low back and you don't wanna to go to a deep forward fold, you're here with your hands on the floor or on blocks. Otherwise that head is hanging down. Maybe turn the head a little side to side. Let the shoulders be really slack. That's it. Big deep breath, everybody. And then take your hands to the floor. Come halfway up. Turn your toes out. This one is gonna be up to you again. You're gonna bend your knees, but press those knees out. Remember how we kind of started in the squats at the beginning of class? One hand to one knee, one hand to the other. Lift your torso, decide for you how low you wanna go. There is a point of no return. And if you were there, you're too low. You should be able to come in and out of this depth um, yourself without struggle. So I am squeezing the glutes. I am pressing the knees out isometrically. Toes are nice and spread out. Only if you want, take the arms up and out. <sighs> Tone the belly in. And then everybody stand up. Big, strong, five-pointed star. Exhale, release. <sighs> Heel toe in. Good job, everyone. Shake it all out and let's come back to the front of our mats. We're coming down to the floor and breathe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. You're going to need your, or your strap for sure. Step back, downward facing dog. Pedal, pedal, pedal out the feet. Lower down to your knees. You're in table pose. All I want you to do is sink through the shoulder blades and press back out. It's retraction and protraction. So just sink in, press out. Good, couple more, sink in, press out. Last one, sink down, press out. Bring the knees back to half plank, half plank. Try not to let your behinds either poke up or sink down. Don't do either one of those. I like to bend the knees and cross ankles. It just feels right for me. Good. And then retract, protract, sink in, press out. Three, four, five. Last one, you're taking it to the floor. Try to keep the elbows in everybody. So it is a chaturanga move and not a push-up move, okay? Squeeze the elbows to neutral. Come on down. Release fully. Relax your upper body. Relax, relax, relax. Find your breath. <clears throat> All right. Both hands along your side body. Move to the edge of my mat. Still not gonna have her. Palms are down, face up. Pull the shoulders away from the floor. I'm lifting my head to neutral. See how that feels for you. Lift both legs. Lift both hands. Head is up to neutral. Don't look forward. Keep it. Keep a neutral neck. All right, so those legs are lifted. Your glutes are fired up. We're working the back body. Um, you're taking the arms out to the side, palm down, arms forward, palms together, not together, but facing. Good, side, I'm doing, I'm doing cactus arms because I don't have room. And then back, out to the side, 
forward, palms face in, last one, bring it out, bring it back. This is really the last one. And forward, and take them up, out to the sides, take them back, see if you can hold, look down at your mat, press the palms up to the ceiling, press the backs of the legs up to the ceiling. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Holy moly. Let go, just shake your hips. Woo wee. And then grab your strap and roll over to your back. Oh, that is gonna feel so good. So good, so good, so good. Roll the shoulders to the floor. And just before we get doing anything else, just turn your head side to side. Turn it side to side. Just breathe. And then bring the head back to neutral. Grab your strap. You're going to take that strap around the outsides of your feet, the soles of the feet come together, Baddha Konasana, right? And the strap just rolls on that, around that outer edge. And then the legs are gonna come to the floor and you're holding the strap in each hand. And that strap is just gonna wrap around the front of those thighs and hold. So I have my palms face down. I'm just keeping the strap taut right? Not overly tight, but taut so that I feel the strap around my feet and I feel the strap around the upper inner thighs and then drop the shoulders. Find your breath here. If your lower back is too, too hiked up, lift your tailbone, lift your sacrum, lengthen your lower back and then set it back down again. Find your breath. Nice long back of the neck, shoulders are down. Breathe. And just see if you can relax here. See if you can let go. So even though I'm holding my strap, I'm not really, my fingers are flat. I'm just, I've got that strap between my thumb and index, and I'm just kind of holding it in place, but I'm not really holding the strap. And feel your legs, feel your inner thighs. Just breathe. Soften your jaw, soften your belly. Couple more breaths right here. And then take the strap on the right side. Just hold the strap and bring your right knee kind of inside and then straight in your right leg. So you're in a tree pose on the floor. Your left leg and foot are still bound by your strap. Your right leg is free and it's pressing down to the floor. And just breathe. Try to keep both hips even so that your right hip doesn't hike up toward the ceiling, press down through both sides, maybe squeeze the glutes a little bit as if you were standing. Shoulders to the floor. And breathe. And then release, bring the right foot back in. It can be a little tricky. You've got to wrap that strap back around the front of the knee. Bring the soles of the feet together 
and then undo the strap from your left leg, take it to the outside, keep the right foot, right hip bound more or less while you relax the left leg straight. So just a little supine tree pose. And breathe. Try to relax here. Try to keep the hips even. Try not to tighten the jaw. Don't worry too much about it if the straps didn't work quite like you thought they would. Good, come back to that bound angle. So you're gonna bring that strap back inside the knee, both feet are bound, lift the feet up, hold that strap, bring the strap in toward the groin as you hold on to the strap with, e with both hands and draw the feet toward the hips. So the legs are lifted. And then draw the knees together, release the strap. Allow the knees to roll to the left side. Open up the shoulders, chest, head neutral. And breathe. Nice, easy twist here, everyone. And then bring your knees to center, twist to the other side, nice and easy. And then bring the knees back to center. Now, if you can indulge me here, grab one of your blocks and you might have to sit up, place it between your ankles. If you happen to have a blanket or a towel and you wanna put that where your knees are gonna be, that'd be great. So the block, I have mine on a second width and it's just gonna go between my ankles. And then the final thing, so this is a little uh, treat Shavasana. So take your loop or take your strap into a loop. I haven't done this one in a long time and it's just kind of a nice little Easter holiday Passover treat. Um, take the loop between your thighs, uh, around your legs and up to your thighs and then tighten that loop so that it is roughly hips width apart. I, what I don't want is your legs to splay out like they normally would in Shavasana. They're actually gonna tighten in um, so that your legs are a bit contained. After doing all that different hip work, it's really nice sometimes just to contain the thighs. So the block is here just as a spacer between your ankles. The blanket is underneath your knees to just ease up the backs of the knees. Your legs are now contained and I want you to just come down. And notice how nice, hopefully, if you've done all that, how nice that feels to have the legs. It's like a little um, security blanket in a way, it just contains the legs. You don't have to hold them. If your feet aren't pressing your block, please, I mean, don't press on purpose, but if they're not touching for some reason, don't worry about the block. Your blanket supporting the backs of your knees and then just relax here. 
Feel your breath. Feel your body on your mat. Allow this to be a kindness to your body, a little loving gesture to your body. A lot of times we come into Shavasana and we think the class is over before Shavasana. And it really isn't. This is how our bodies assimilate our practice. This is how our bodies learn to surrender, our minds learn to quiet. So just relax your legs. Surrender your body to the floor. Close the eyes. And feel yourself breathe in and exhale out. That's all. Relax your jaw, relax your belly. Let your legs just lean into the strap. Feel your body get even softer. For those of you ready, this is a sweet Shavasana. So if you've got time, just stay, stay for a little bit longer. If you are, however, ready to come on out, start to bend the knees, be very mindful of the strap as you draw the strap toward your, or knees toward your chest. Go ahead and release that strap. And then drawing the knees in, rock side to side. Let the knees roll to one side or the other, curl over to fetal pose. And as you're ready, press yourself all the way up. Coming to your favorite seated pose, take your hands to your heart.
Let this be a time of growth, of new planting, of rebirth, of being all that you can be. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.